Okay, hey everybody, I'm recording in my pickup today. I hope the audio is okay. Um, so I am solo today, and I know you guys probably missed me last night or last week. So, besides the point, um, Evelyn did so last weekend, so I'm gonna do it today. And also, this episode is pretty big, I know, but also, um, what was I gonna say? Um, it was a day late, and I apologize for that. Yesterday, I was driving home from Oklahoma all the way to New York, and I couldn't record, even though I probably couldn't have done this, but anyway, um, I had to get it edited and everything anyway, so let's do a little recap of my week before I kind of tell you a little bit about what's going on in my life right now. Um, I'm going through a lot of different changes, and... They're pretty big. So, um, let's see. So, in the last two weeks, actually, um, I've been doing a lot of schoolwork. I've been uh, kind of finishing up the semester. I'm trying to do pretty good on my finals. And um, I got home. I got back to school two weeks ago from yesterday. So, I was home in New York for three weeks. And then I was only in Nebraska for two. Um, which was pretty fun. And I'm really, ca I'm really happy I came home. And I'm really happy that I'm home again. But I was really having a good time in school, too. So I really can have a good time, remember. <laughs> um, so one of my big things that happened this weekend was I went to Oklahoma to the Calf Ride, the Tumbleweed um, Dance Hall, that place. And me and my friend went there. And we had a really good time. There was Riley Green played on Saturday night. Muscat and Bloodline played on Saturday night. Oh, my favorite. Those two, those people are just chef's kiss. Um, and then on Friday night, Park McCollum played. And I had already seen him before, but like last month. But he was good again. Um, and it did happen on th it, those concerts on Thursday. There's ketchup on my steering wheel. Hmm. Um, those concerts on Thursday too, but we didn't go until Friday. It was about a six-hour drive from Lincoln, Nebraska to Oklahoma, so we really liked the town there, and it was really just a really good time, and there was about 16,000 people at the venue, and um, we were one of them, obviously, <laughs> um, but it was like so nice to see people like just having a good time and not having to wear masks and getting out in public for the first time in, you know, a year. So, really good time. But I don't think you guys really care about that right now um, at all. My mom flew to Omaha. I don't think you care because you're waiting for my news that I have to share with you. Um, my mom flew to Omaha yesterday. Was it yesterday? Sunday night. So, it's Tuesday today. Sunday night um, at 7 p.m. And we, got, we drove all through the night. We did not stop once. Oh, we stopped for gas. But, um, we got home at two o'clock yesterday. So it was really like a 19 hour drive, which, you know, it wasn't too bad. I didn't really think it was bad at all. I would do it again. Um, so yeah, um, but onto the more important things today. I'm going to try to make this episode not too long, um, because I'm really busy today and I don't want to have this upload thing <laughs> it's really it takes so long to upload these but i'm gonna make it short and sweet for all of you guys and um yeah um first of all i'm gonna go ahead and preface that um i've been thinking about this for a while and it was a really hard decision but here we are i'm pretty much committed at this point um i have decided to um, <laughs> it sounds really weird saying it out loud because this is something that I should, that a lot of people think that I should not do, um, but I am, and <laughs> I feel very confident about this decision, but I also am trying not to care about, you know, what other people think about it. Yeah. I got this new necklace, too. Pretty cute. And this new ring. 
Okay, first of all, I want to say that everyone guessing this last week, I am not engaged and I'm not pregnant. So, those are the two things that people always guess at first. Um, and neither of those are um, correct. So, I am going to... I'm going to tell you. Um, and I... Don't know, because this up, I, I didn't plan to jump into it this early, but I'm so excited to tell you, because I'm so excited about this decision, and I, ah, I just, I love that I'm home right now, and I love, okay, so, anyway, I'll get right into it, I was going to totally talk about other things for 10 minutes, so I just remembered that, but, whatever. Um, I am deciding to not go back to University of Nebraska next fall, and I instead am going to, first of all, in the fall, uh, summer, fall, I'm going to be working on our dairy farm and crop farm and pumpkin farm this summer. And then in the fall, I'm going to be doing full-time um, pumpkin patch. And then after the pumpkin season, after I get, because this year I'll be able to be really involved with it. I have no school obligations like I have the last 19 years of my life. Um, I will have no school that I need to be doing in the fall. And I can really like make good, like make decisions in the business and I'll be able to work every day all day and get ready for the patch this year and we have a lot of new additions coming this year so I'll be able to totally you know what is it called totally oh concentrate <laughs> totally concentrate my efforts on the pumpkin patch and the brewery and all that stuff but um my real announcement is that I will be taking apple orchard management courses this winter like november from november to march um through cornell university and i will be learning how to um have an apple orchard so that's what i've always wanted to do like it's been an idea in my head for the last two years probably is to start having um apples and i think it'll be a really great addition to our family business and we i just want to always be able to grow and prosper with my sisters when we start to take this over here which is our main goal and um yeah so i'm gonna be getting um pesticide certified so i can um you know do things like that and also maybe someday i can take that further and maybe custom spraying or something like that i don't know what that whole side is but i definitely want to get my pesticide application license and i also want to take um orchard management I'm going to do a QuickBooks for farmers, and I'm going to do berry production, and I might do vegetables. I haven't decided, because also, eventually, I want to be able to add berries to our um, pumpkin patch. So, I know that um, it might not be a traditional path, and that's okay. I also want to say that Evelyn and I have done episodes in the past where we talk about, oh, why it's such a good idea for farmers to go to college, or why you should move off the home farm. And I totally agree with that. Obviously, still, I never was lying. And I'm so happy that I went to UNL and happy that I got the experience there and I met a lot of cool people and I made connections and I did get education. Um, and I'm happy that all happened. And it's not it was not a waste of my time. But I also know that I want to put my time, my money, my effort towards something that I want to do in the future. I don't really think I need a degree for what I want to do. Um, I, the education I am still getting, but I'm not going to be getting a degree. Um, so that's really important. Also, another whole reason is I was really getting frustrated with, um, how universities are going about the COVID deal. Um, obviously I'm not going to get controversial or anything, but COVID is happening to all of us. So I don't really think it's a huge deal. Um, I think that, the way that we are being taught in the online setting was not working for me. And I know that I really don't think it'll ever truly go away. The human interaction that we had before and, you know, in classrooms and we don't have to social distance or wear a mask. And that is, I just, I don't think it's going to work in my mind. I don't think that's going to, I don't think it's going to go away um, as much as they're saying that it will. So... That is another thing that really, really factored into my decision. I, one day, I think it was April 14th was the day that I just had a total meltdown. I, um, 
had an advisor meeting with my advisor and I was scheduling courses for next semester. I was adding another minor, so I was going to have double minor and major. So I was already taking some classes in the minor that I was going to add, but I wanted to make it official. Um, I was going to major in agribusiness and minor in entrepreneurship and um, ag communications. And I wanted to be done in three years because I knew I could get done in two, ha two and a half for a four year degree. I just knew I wouldn't. I don't think that would be really feasible. So I wanted to get it done in three years. I had some high school credits. Um, also, none of, like, half of my high school credits transferred. So that was really cool. Um, and then I realized that I would have to take minimum of 26 credits a semester with taking summer courses. And then I just got to thinking that I could totally rush and put all the stress on myself and spend all this money. It's expensive for out of state and um totally do that and hate my life for three years and then I have a degree but what am I really gonna do with this degree if ever since I was a little girl I knew I was going to work so I'm a little girl um I knew I was gonna work for myself like I always just had that in my mind and obviously it could change but I've always just wanted to work for myself and um I'm going to hold true for that as long as I possibly can so, um, then I was just totally stressed. Like, I would, like, mute myself on the Zoom call for my advisor meeting and just bawl. Like, I was just crying. I had a meltdown. And then I, like, unmute myself. I'm like, yeah, that sounds good. I, yeah, those classes sound good. I mute myself. But then I got off. I was just, like, and I, I was done with the call. And I was like, I am not happy right now. Like, why am I putting myself through this? I'm not happy. I'm stressing myself out. I have pretty bad, like, I stress myself out a lot, and it really affects my body in, like, really negative ways, so, which everyone, I think, has that problem. Um, so, I realized that I didn't, I was not doing what's making me happy, and I've always kind of lived by the notion, like, you, life is way too short to do things that are not going to make you happy, not even, not only in the long run, but in the short run. I know that I could be happy in knowing that I, you know, finished the darn thing and had a degree. I know I'd be happy with that, but I also knew that right now, I know that I don't think that, you know, life is just, life is too short to, um, not do exactly what you want to do. And this is exactly what I want to do. I just have this vision in my head of, um, looking out to, you know, 10 acres of apple trees in the next five years. Like, that is something that is a goal of mine. So, I know a lot of people will not agree with this decision and this path that I'm going down. Like, I totally know that is, uh, what's gonna happen and people are gonna give me slander for it. But I've always loved... I would skip school to work and I would skip school to plant corn and I always, I wanted to drop out of school in eighth grade and I wanted to turn Amish because I hated school that much and I loved working and I, that was just what I love to do and it was, I know it sounds stupid because it's not like I'm getting paid a boatload to work but it's just what made me happy and being with my friends at school made me less happy than working like that's what it was and I know that that's fine because everyone's different um when I was getting ready to go to UNL and picking out my college and going on all these college visits all around the country like my parents literally drove me to you know 10 different schools all across the country I knew that I hated school, and I knew that I was just going to get a degree, and um, I knew that's what I was supposed to do by societal norms. So, and I was happy. I was excited about it. So, I, we went to all these schools, and I picked one out, but even when I picked it out, I wasn't, I don't think I was excited as I should have been. Like, I see all of my friends, like, you know, they get accepted to the school, and they're just, like, jumping up and down, and they're packing all summer for college, but I literally packed, like, two days before I left, and I wasn't thrilled like I wasn't oh like I just wasn't excited because I've never liked the structure of school or anything and I thought that college would be different and it's really not that different than I thought it'd be so um and you know I I don't know 
I really just, that is a huge part of it is everyone is different. You know, some people get really excited about going to school and learning new things. And I love to learn new things, but I learn new things by watching, you know, my dad do something in the shop or something like that. Um, when I was home over the three weeks last month, I think that's when I really realized that I was like, I'm learning about all this like financial, like, um, balance sheets and, um, what the, uh, well, I can't even think of the word. I'm, I don't know. I was learning about succulents. I was learning about all of the ap apical buds. That's what I was thinking of. I was learning about all this and everything. I'm like, this is great and everything. Like, I totally can apply that to my life. But you know what I can apply even more is maybe watching my dad weld something in the shop so that I can do it after him instead of um, learning what a balance sheet for a sheep farm is, you know? So, um, that was also a huge thing. I, Evelyn got her degree and I props to her now that I know how no, hard it is. And, um, she's not using her degree for anything in the nearest future. Um, I think that saving 30000 a year on school also is going to put me at a higher advantage than a lot of my peers. And I'm not trying to win anything. I'm just saying that what I want and what I'm going to get because I have, I know that I have the drive for it is going to be easier now that I'm saving my time, money, effort on that rather than school. Um, so yeah, I hope that it's understandable. I don't really care if it's understandable, but I think that, um, you guys have definitely um, followed me along this whole journey, and it has been a ride. I was thinking about it the other day, how much my life has changed in a year, because last year, like, I was home from not doing school, really, because we were online, and I was planting corn every day, and I just loved my life a year ago, like, being in the tractor all day long. I just loved it, and then, you know, we were, like, getting ready to go to school and I just got like sad I was just like oh, I don't really I know I'm gonna have fun but I don't I didn't think it was I don't think I had the right kind of excitement that I should have because um I did really good in all of my classes also I'm not failing out I had a 3.8 GPA um both semesters so I also think that's pretty good on the flex but I not, I'm saying that I can do good in school I've always been able to do really good in school without trying very hard but I, the school system and the way that it's being taught now online and COVID and the, what they're teaching, what I'm paying to be taught, what I'm paying to, I'm pretty much taking high school classes in a gen ed setting through college, but I am just paying for it now, you know? So I would love to get a degree. I would love to be an alum, but I think that my path is different. And I know that it is because I don't really, my mom told me not to consider myself a college dropout. I just have a different path and I learned what my path was. Um, I'm also really excited to be home with my family and my friends and Aiden. And I'm really excited to be able to grow those relationships too. Um, so yeah, Evelyn and I have always been really close and it's been really hard being apart from each other. Like we FaceTime every day, we text every day, but I don't, it was really hard, you know, to be apart from her as well this whole last year because she moved a year ago. Um, so yes. And I just had a thought, but I forgot it. I loved UNO. I loved Nebraska. I loved the school. I just loved that whole state and I have no regrets of going there. But I could not take the whole COVID thing. I could not take knowing what I could be doing other than waking up at 845 for my 850 class and getting on my computer and just like sometimes falling back asleep on class. I just, I was like, why am I... 1100 miles away from home paying this much money to do that and I know it's gonna get better eventually but I think that that is always gonna be lingering and no one will ever have the same college experience as maybe they did a while ago and I could be wrong I probably am but 
that is my thoughts on that. Um, so yeah, I also really hope to prosper in NY Farm Girls is another huge thing, obviously. Um, but I think that I need to work on prospering in the pumpkin patch and the dairy farm because that is, they both correlate because NY Farm Girls gets con like has content from both of those things. So I think that I miss doing stories every day and I was totally out of the loop with the farm and totally out of the loop with my farm girls sometimes because I couldn't do stories or I couldn't do um, the same kind of things that Evelyn and Jojo were doing in the last six months. So that also was pretty detrimental to my mental health. Um, I have pretty bad stress, so I, like I had sleep paralysis. I was getting sick, like, every other week. I had... I was just thinking of something else that was happening. I don't know. I totally, like, my body ached all the time, and I I was just totally not in the right headspace, especially this last semester. The first semester, I it was a lot better, but this last semester, I definitely was just overthinking about everything, and then I was like, what am I doing? I could... I need to do what I need... I, what I want to do, and... I think that a lot of people overthink these decisions in their life because they don't realize that they can truly do whatever they want. Um, my dad's home. So that's kind of what, that is pretty much the gist of everything um, in that, in those terms. Um, we'll talk about it again next week with Evelyn, I'm sure, but it's just been a ride the last like because i decided on april 14th and right now it's may 4th so not that long um i totally would have never even thought like i had an apartment picked out and everything and now i'm just trying to get out of my lease and <laughs> so uh i have my dreams are in the next 10 years probably five hopefully sooner now that i um have more time is to, I was thinking about trading in my truck, but that's on the bottom of the list. Um, and I also want to start getting, I do want to start getting like plans and, you know, start thinking more about building a house someday. Um, I don't know if it'll, it'll probably be in the next five years. That's a stretch probably, but that's a cat. So, um, yeah, I've listened to you talk for 45 minutes, but I don't know how. Um, I'm also, like, this decision would be a lot harder if I didn't have a lot of, like, the support from my family and my friends. Because I know people would definitely give a lot of slander for this, but, um, like, my mom is all for it. Maybe she, I think she just wants me to work more for her, but... She's for it. Um, Evelyn is very for it. Evelyn told me to drop out like my second week in college, pretty much. Um, I didn't listen. Probably should have. Um, she said that we can just grow on my farm girls. We can grow on, you know, we can work together. We can see each other all the time. And she totally was trying to talk me into it. And then she brought it up to my mom. And my mom's like, don't tell her that. But now my mom likes it, the idea too. So, um, yeah, and everyone is very, very supportive, and I know that that is not the situation for everybody because I definitely, it would be a lot harder. Um, the first day that I brought it up to my mom, she kind of freaked out on me. I was like, well, I'm not getting a degree. Like, I, I didn't think that I was going to. I was like, I'm not getting one. I was going to go for another year and then probably stop. And she's like, you need a degree. And I do think that maybe somebody else want a degree. I totally think that. But I also think that in the moment, we should be living because who knows when our last days are. And I know that's kind of depressing, but I, that's exactly what I think. Um, so yeah, I also, like I said earlier, I just love working and I love my house and I love my home life and I love everything. I will be moving out um, probably this winter, so I'm not gonna stay home, but I'll be moving out. My parents said, my parents said that I have a year to move out, so I'm gonna stay home this summer, though, and we will see how everything else goes. I'm just kind of playing it by ear now, um, and I'm gonna get 
you know, settled in before we start. We're going to start planting more again, obviously, in the next couple of days. So I'm excited for that. Um, we are getting two inches of rain by tomorrow, and it's about to rain right now. So that sucks. But yes, um, I don't really know about any more updates on the farm because I just got home like 12 hours ago. I don't really know when. I don't know about the math right now. But that is the update on my life and the announcements so i am not continuing school but i'm continuing education through cornell university um in the winter i'm not enrolling in cornell but i am taking classes through extension is my plan um it's very much a cheaper option i think each of the courses are 300 bucks each so yeah um saving a lot of money and I also am getting the exact education that I need instead of having to take a chem 104 or an accounting class um which is really nice because I was getting really annoyed that I was paying for taking retaking high school classes basically so um yes there he is right there also my whole grill like chipped off um, on the ride home because it was raining the entire way home. Pure rain. So I should respray paint it. Because um, I got everything moved in my room today and me and Jojo are just going to have a riot at home. Also, um, I assume I'm going to be going to Evelyn's house a lot because yeah. Um, anyway, I appreciate you guys all for listening or watching if you're on YouTube. And thank you for holding out a day. I feel bad that it was supposed to be daylight. But that's pretty much all the updates that I have. And I hope that I made sense. Um, and I'll be doing a question and answer on the stories on Instagram and my farm girls this week. Um, and we can clear anything else up that we want to. Um, so, peace out, Girl Scouts, I guess. Um... And I will see you next Monday. Again, I'm sorry for the delay. I'm pretty much suck. Okay. <laughs>